Uh, the origin, it dates back to the 19th century and slightly earlier. Um, in large areas of Scotland that were very rural communities, it was jolly difficult for the families um, and the villages to get together in any way because it was such a disparate community. And so really when we move into the 19th century, it was a way for clans to get together. And the one Highland chief would bring along 10 of his men and compete against another Highland chief and they would have very physical or musical competitions. And that was the origins, it was just a way of bringing people together socially. The athletes, in the main, are running for open competitions. You could take part in them. Uh, but one or two of the competitions are for Scottish only athletes or whatever because they're running for national championships. The Highland Games are a Celtic tradition with different competitions. One of the most ancient games is tossing the Caba, an extreme test of muscle, balance, timing and skill. Scots have played it since the 16th century and it is still one of the most popular events featured at the Highland Games all over the world. The Caba is as likely to fall sideways or back the way it came when the large end hits the ground. Scoring is based on the closeness of the fall to 12 o'clock. When I first started doing the Highland Games, I was 17 years old. I'm now 37, been in Highland Games for 20 years. And uh, as I've got older, I've got a lot better and a lot of technical work, a lot of technique, a lot of strength, a lot of speed work. And uh, it's very, very, very hard and it's very demanding. Uh, the reason I, I mean, I, the, the crowd appreciate it, I appreciate it, I love throwing things. As a child I love throwing stones and, and bits of stick and stuff like that, I've always enjoyed throwing things. So this is one the thing I love doing most now. Well we've been trying to get the kids involved so much because they're going to be the next generation when we're gone. So we're trying to get as many kids involved in the games now, so we do Highland Games for children at most games now. I'm going out to Iceland weekend after next, and uh, and I fly up there. Ne well, next weekend I fly up there, or there to have competition on Saturday. So we've been all over the world: France, America, uh, Latvia, Finland, Sweden, all over. Another game is a Scottish hammer. The handle of the hammer is made of cane, and the head is round and made of metal. The hammer is 22 pounds and is thrown standing style with a competitor facing away from the throwing area. Making sure his feet are firmly planted on the ground, he takes the hammer three times around his head and then releases it. His feet must not move until after he releases the hammer. You need the physical uh, attributes but also you need a bit of determination and a lot of training, a lot of years, but it's, it's a sport you don't really peak until your mid-30s. So. It, it's a very good sport. You can do it for a long time. Uh, originally a discus thrower and a shot putter at quite a high level. And uh, this year I decided to do high, Highland Games for something different and i am uh, become quite successful at it. And it's uh, very enjoyable. What you can do in athletics, you either stop or you do something else. And, and I still love throwing. Uh, this is really throwing. All the years of physical training have allowed me to convert quite easily. So uh, having fun with it and enjoying it, so why stop? Oh no, I've coached myself since I was a young age. So I'm 30 years old now, I've been training since I was 11 years old. Putting the stone is the same as the Olympic shot put, except that a smooth rounded stone is used instead of a steel ball. It can weigh just over 12 or 26 pounds. Each competitor is allowed three attempts. The best of the three is counted. Another game is weight for height. The weight is a block which has a ring handle attached with the objective to throw it up and over a bar similar to that used in a pole vault. The total weight is 56 pounds and only one hand is usually allowed. The starting height of the pole is the lowest height requested by one of the competitors. A competitor may pass on the lower heights but once it reaches the height at which he starts to throw, he must compete with each raise of the bar. He's allowed three attempts to clear the bar.
one of those things that brings around uh, mixed emotions. Uh, at one level, it makes us very proud of being Scottish and we love seeing all our cultural art forms on display in public in a fairly uh, ordinary way um, out in the open air. But at the other end, we recognise that more and more we're running events that tourists come to. So as we've got bigger and more successful, we find we have to get a little bit more professional. For example, at Oban now, we say that it'll start at 11 o'clock, and it did. In the old days, well, which day should we have it? Would have been the attitude. <laughs>